All right, guys, I'm working on this uh, fuel pump, getting the fuel pump and everything in. While I'm in this fuse box, I wanted to answer a question that somebody had on one of the other videos. But before I do that, let's take a look at where I'm at. So I got fuse box and everything all taken out. Got some eight gauge wire, big eight gauge wire ran for the fuel pump. Ran back to here, fuel line back. Fuel tank is ready to go. So that's where I'm at right now. Just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update, kind of a teaser, but to answer the question, it was about this fuse box wiring and I did a lot of integration with the LS harness to the factory Ranger fuse box. So one of the questions was about the fuel pump relay and how I converted the negative Ranger fuel pump trigger, fuel pump relay trigger to a positive signal. So basically all I ended up doing was taking the, the factory positive wire that was going to the coil on the fuel pump relay and co converting this to a negative wire. So basically I snipped this off down here. It's kind of taped up down in here, but uh, soldered and heat shrunk everything down here, snipped this. This is actually a negative wire right now. It used to be a positive. After this was converted into a negative wire, I was able to just hook this wire up to the positive signal coming from the fuel pump trigger from the ECU. So this wire actually goes down through the factory harness and it connects somewhere down in here. So this is now a positive trigger from the GM ECU. This is a negative wire and that's what was activating the fuel pump relay. So there are ways with relays to convert a positive to a negative signal and a negative to a positive signal. I covered that in a previous video on 12 volt automotive relays. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, there's a lot you can do with those things. If you don't really understand them, take the time to learn about it. They're pretty easy to deal with once you figure them out. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to answer that question for the guy. He was awfully upset, said I didn't show how I did that in the video for the wiring. I'm pretty sure I did, but I just wanted to go over it again because I'm inside the fuse box, so I figured it'd be a good opportunity. One other thing, uh, I did get this little guy right here. You probably can't really see it because it's inside the packaging, um, but that is a timed relay. So one of the things I wanted to do with the fuel injector tester is put a timer on it. So I picked up a timer, so I picked up some more frequency generators, so I'll be able to pulse multiple different frequencies or different cycle rates it'll be timed. So I'll be able to hit a button, it'll run on a timer, and then I'll be able to select different frequencies. So I can set it up to be like 2000 RPM equivalent, 4000 RPM equivalent, 6000 RPM equivalent, and wide open. I can do something like that. This is, I don't know how much time I'm gonna spend on this or how seriously I'm gonna take it, but I think it'll be kind of fun to just tinker around and build this thing and see what we can do with it and try to make it as realistic as possible. So just a quick little update, guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this thing will be done pretty soon and then we'll get it driving in the next couple days. Now, if you're new to the channel, LS Swap Ford Ranger doing a budget turbo build. Don't know how much I have into it, but it's pretty cheap so far. Hopefully you enjoy it. Have fun.